Notion tutorial for beginners, step-by-step -step tutorial for Notion. Hi guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can get organized and productive with Notion.so. So let's get into it. First of all, what you can do is you have to go to Notion.so and you will land on this platform right here. Notion.so is a project management tool that allows you to create your own workspace. You can even use Notion for your personal use and for your studies, your work. You can use Notion for work and studies as well. How to get started with Notion.so? Once you get to the website, you can actually click on Try Notion for free and you will be able to sign up. The signing up process is really easy. All you have to do is just enter your email address right here or you can also continue with your Google account. Once you do, you will get to the dashboard of Notion. After the initial sign up or sign into your Notion.so, this is where you will get, I have signed into my Notion and this is uh, where I got. On Notion, we can go ahead and create different workspaces. We can have different pages. With Notion, it's like quite similar to working on a digital planner or you are working with a lot of documents in real time. Uh, but with uh, Notion, we are more organized. We will be able to even share our workspace with other team members. We will be able to create notes, tasks, and much more. So actually, let's get into it. Once you open up Notion, it gives you this panel right here. Inside this panel, we have our search right here. Then we have our update, which will give me my inbox following all in archived. Then we have our settings and members, of course, for our Notion. Then we have our getting started option and in getting started, I will be able to go ahead and create a new page. You have a main dashboard. This is our main dashboard, which we call getting started. And then we have a bunch of different pages created inside a page. I will be able to create different tasks, to add different checklists or even create a planner, anything I want. In order to create a new page, you can click on this add a new page option or you can open up any other page that you already have. We can have more than one workspace on our Notion. So you can see this is a workspace that I created and I can go ahead and create another one. Or we can actually create a separate workspace for our work and a separate workspace for our, let's say, studies or our personal use. So this is a workspace that I have for my personal use. And you can see it has a personal home, task list, general, reading list and task. And I can also explore different templates. Click on the templates and it will allow you to add different types of elements to a page. For example, we have different tasks. We have meetings, documents. When it comes to marketing, we have presentations, brand assets, brainstorm, content calendar, blog, editorial calendar. We have reading list, habit tracker, uh, travel planner. In product management, we have product wiki, investor update. In design, we have all of the other designs available and we have sales, support and even student. So this is a personal workspace of mine and I want to create to do's. So I'm going to grab this template click on get template and it will be added to my page right here. So they created a brand new page for me, which is the task page. So I can give it a name first. It says task. So I'm going to change it to my tasks right here. And it's going to be a to-do list that I will be creating with Notion. And it's very simple. You can see we have a cover. I can add a cover very quickly. Click on add cover and it will be added. You can choose and change a cover very easily. Then we have different views available. We have all, we have a board view available, mine, upcoming, and I can click on this plus button and it will allow me to add more views. So I'm going to go to the all views right here. This is the one that I personally like. So here I can create as many tasks as I like. Click on new and you will be able to give it a name. I'm going to call it task three. Okay, so we have task three. I'm going to go with task four. Click on enter and the task will be created. Now I can click on open and it will open it up right here. I can add a status to my task. So we can create different uh, statuses for the task as well. So right now it says not started, but I can say, okay, it's in progress now. 
Then we have assign is where I will be able to assign it to someone else if I want to. This comes really handy if you are uh, working with a team. How to invite someone or to share a task. You can find the share option right here at the top. We even have favorite option. We have these three dots that allow us to delete a task or even change the style for the task. Copy, duplicate, page history and more. So we have due date as well. Click on due date and you will be able to add a due date to your task that you have added. We can also open up a task in a uh, expanded window and it will give us this view. So I'm going to get back to my tasks right here. We have added a task here. So this is how you can create a task list. Click on new again. You will be able to create a brand new task right here. So we have a journal in Notion. In journal, what I can do is again, add a cover really quickly. Then we have different entries. Click on new and I can add a brand new entry for today. So I'm going to go for today, enter a time and start writing. What I can do is I can create a new empty page and start writing right here. We can even create commands. For example, we want a page, we want a text. So I'm going to go with the text right here and enter. For example, I did some work today. So with Notion, you are not only getting a project management software, but you can you are also getting like your own journal. You are also getting your own to do, you know, notepad. So that is why Notion is actually a great choice for personal use as well as for the work use. Let's say I want to, uh, you know, create a project page. I'm using Notion for work. So you can go with the project template and project page. It allows you to create different projects and it's quite similar. Uh, first, what you can do is you can create different statuses such as to do in progress, complete, where you can create in progress, posed, planning or cancelled. When you have different statuses available, what you can do is you can create a new task or a new project. So I'm going to create a new project by clicking right here and type in a name. So this one is known as a project Z, right? And now I can add more people into it. So I'm going to add myself and another person for this project. And moving on, I can add the dates. Click on add dates and enter a due date for the task that you have created. Similarly, I can actually open it up in this side P right here and it will give me more options. So we have completion about this project. We have different tasks and I can now even create a to do list or task within a project. So let's say I want to create a task quickly within my uh, project right here. So I'm going to give my task a name very quickly. Then I can create a new one as well. Let's say task one. Click right here and a task will be created within a project. We can share our project with someone else. Similarly, as we can do in a lot of other project management software, we can share our task, we can add priorities, we can add, we can assign our tasks to people, we can add task list, we can add comments to a task, we can create list within a project, we can add tasks within a project. So this is actually really easy. Project is one of the template we go for if you're using Notion for work. If you're using Notion for personal use, then you can go for the different pages such as personal home, task list. Then we have journal, reading list, tasks. And uh, these are all for your own personal use. And if you're looking for some work related templates, then you can go for presentations, brainstorm, content calendar. Then we have project management right here. You will be able to find really good pages. Uh, then we have design, engineering, human resources, all of the different departments. You can create different pages for each of the department and you will be able to manage them better with Notion.so. This brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you guys. And now you know how to use Notion.so for work and personal needs. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.